do we have here? Trailcam 28 megapixel Ultra HD video waterproof 2 inch TFT screen a 90 degree angle for the detection. Um, it works for your dog, for your house, for outdoors and at night. And also you see a time lapse here. Let me see how that goes. That's how it looks like. There's some writing on there. And we're gonna open this and take a quick peek of what's in there. There is the PH820 uh, manual here. You may need this to set up the camera. Then we have a bag with a camera. Look at this. Isn't that neat? The Maxdown PH820 camera. Look what it has here to fix this in certain ways. And then you can go close up and see here. Then we have a protection thing here. Or the lens, there is one. And then here is another one for the detector. That's how it looks like. Let's see what more is in the box. USB cable. There is a USB C cable, USB C to USB A. There, yeah, that's nice. And what is here on this side? There's more in here. Can come out. There it is out. Two more bags. Let's see what we have here. So we have a uh, a strap mount for a strap to strap it around the tree and then what's this this is not so hard to open a mounting plate and this here got stuck here an articulating arm And a little bag with screws to mount this. Okay. Of course. So this most likely has to be assembled like this here. And of course you need tools to tighten this up. And then you can use here the stuff to mount the camera. Now, let's see where we can mount this. There's only one way to mount it. That is here on the bottom. Okay, there. We also see that we have 6 volt, 1.6 amp um, power going into it. Here, there's a little connector. So you could externally power this thing, let's say with a backup battery or a power panel if you need this. If you do a time lapse, you most likely need more power than what you can put in batteries in here. Okay, let's see what we have here. This is a nice sticker here. Very good. Um, we have a nice screen here. Take that off. There's an on off switch down here. USB C there. And then there is a little problem solving sticker what to do if stuff doesn't work. And here we can open it up and look at what we have for a uh, a battery requirement for this. It does not come with batteries. You have to put eight 1.5 volt batteries in here, but it does come with a SD card here. 32 
gigabyte. See this? A 32 gigabyte SD card. The SD card is inserted with the text up. In there. It's in there. So, in order to power this up, we do need batteries. So, we are going to uh, prepare and set up this camera for first use. Um, there is no need for you to remove the SD card. It's in there. That's good and fine. Um, you need to use AA batteries, uh, eight of them, and insert them in the right order. Um, it is important to use the same type of battery. So don't mix them up and get, best case scenario, new batteries, all of the same kind, and make sure that you put them on the right way. I'm sure you can see this here. This type of battery I have here, it has a red marking for the plus and no marking for the minus. So whenever there is a spring, like here, that's where the negative goes. Like in any, any other electric device that works with batteries, we have the same scenario. Like this here. When we're done inserting, just verify this wherever there is a spring here we have the minus right so there's never battery to battery where the red line is together good we can put our little flap here back in to um, save the um, batteries and then what we do next is we go and follow the instruction in here the warning they call it warning tips so that's what we do first. We're going to set up this very quickly and briefly to where it should be. Um, let me zoom in more to show you exactly what you need to do here. Uh, we go here and push the menu button. This is the one here. Then we get into a menu. And on the bottom of the menu, or all the way up, you get to version. And then the next one is reset settings. There you would click the OK button, that is this one here. And that may not be easy to read, depending on how good you can see, like you can see here on the video. If you have the right light shine on it, then it makes it much easier to read those buttons, okay? So we are here in the all settings will be deleted thing. We go one up with this up arrow to where it says yes, and then we click the OK button. That thing, that I think resetted everything. So if you click OK again, you go in it, you go there, and then you can't do left or right. The OK button is going to reset everything. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to um, format the memory card here. Format memory card. Click OK. One arrow up to select yes. Click OK again, and it will format your memory card, the card that is in here. And then we go all the way up to time and date. Time and date, you push OK. Now set time and date, OK. Now we set the time and date. We have 2022. When we have that set correctly, we go one to the right. Now the month becomes yellow. So you can select this, whatever you like. You click right, you go to the next thing. Click right, you go to the next. Click right, you go to the next. When you're done, you click OK and your time is set. If you don't like the format, so this thing does 24 hour military time. I think that's good for me. Um, date format. You can do day, month, year, year, month, day, or month, day, year. I stay with year, month, day. That's what I like. Click the OK button. Hmm. So you would go in the circle here, OK, and you see that. We can go with menu to back. Menu again, now we're in our menu again. And in here, we can do all the settings we need. Now, for the sake of this video, I want to change a few settings. Let's go all the way to the top. It's a mode, the mode settings. Push OK. I want photo and video, both. Boom. I want to set the photo resolution. So we click OK here. 
it's on 5 megapixel now. I want full 28 megapixel. That's what I want. I do not want a photo series. I want a video resolution setting. Here we go in there. I want the highest setting possible, okay? TL video resolution. That is the time-lapse video resolution. I also go full 4K here. The video length. How long is the thing recording when it records? You see here you can go down for a few seconds only. Or even minutes. So I'm going to go the other way. I go to zero. There, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the longest you can do. So I think I want to do three minutes just for the heck of it. Audio recording set here. You can turn this on or off, whatever you like. I do with audio recording. I want to know what the animal says. Shoot lag is set to one minute. We do leave that. The sensitivity of the motion sensors, you can do low, middle, or high. That's good. The target recording time. So, we say on. And then, you can start recording at a certain time. So, let's say you only want to record between 6 and noon every day. You can select here the limits, right? Okay, so, but I don't want to do it. Don't say on again. Okay, on, we do off. Okay, target recording time. So that's the time, um, the time frame and when you want to record. Let's say you want to only doing it during the day or you want to do it only during the night. You can set that there. Time lapse. If we want to do a time lapse, you would uh, do either pictures or a video. The language you can select. There is English, German, Danish, Xiaomi, Svenska, North, Norsk, Espanol, Frances, Italiano, Netherlands, Portuguese, Chinese, Korean, Japanese. The whole nine yards. Endless capture. I think that's what it is when it constantly records the whole time. Time and date we have already. <coughs> <clears throat> photo stamp okay it puts the time and date in here that's okay we leave it like that password protection if you want to give this thing a password that's possible <clears throat> so that nobody can change the settings when the camera is out there beep sound it makes it right now the beep sound right we leave that on uh, format memory card we did a serial number Okay, on. Serial number set, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Reset settings, we did that. Version number. So we can check the version of this camera. It's 21298. Uh, you can maybe look up online if they have uh, a new software for this or not. And then you probably can do a firmware upgrade if you have to. So, for this, the camera is set. We are on test mode here. We are off, test, on. If we switch it to on, the camera is going to start in 15 seconds. We would have to close it. And then, whenever there is a movement in front of the camera, day or night, um, we will have a recording. 